this is the only empty space in my home. And when I started painting this past November 2020, I decided I needed a space to do that. I obviously didn't have many options. The reason this was so inexpensive for me was because of luck and resourcefulness. It's the two things that make a successful thrifter or penny pincher as much as they don't want to admit it's mostly luck. So I used this whiteboard that was once my younger brother's and I made it into my easel. And it was a low quality whiteboard and had been chipping for a few years. So I scraped off what I could and gave up almost instantly, it wasn't working out. I cleaned it off and that was about it. Don't worry, we'll come back to it later. I also had these old plant stands that are super unreliable and flimsy, but beggars can't be choosers, right? And I didn't need to spend money on them, which was nice. Also, they were kind of cool to like display what I reach for more frequently. And then I gave up again until January 2021, when I didn't do much except clean my easel a bit, vacuum the dried paint off my children's desk chair, and that was it. Finally, in February 2021, I decided I could not live in this absolute disaster anymore. I'm not sure what happened. I'm like, I could go in there to get one paintbrush and wake up two seconds later covered in paint and canvases and somebody else's blood. So, I had to do what I had to do, and what I dread to do, and clean. took a drop cloth tarp from some people doing work on walls in the hall outside my door. I asked, don't worry. And I laid that out underneath the easel and my little children's chair, which has no back support. I cleaned and organized all my supplies, which apparently includes candles and what looks like a pair of Francesca's earrings. Okay, I lied. I did spend money on one thing. Well, not really me. It was a gift from my mother. $30 at Michael's, so go get yourself one. Still didn't technically cost me anything, but um, oh well. I used this to store canvases, materials, paints, anything I use regularly, but make the biggest mess out of. used some old can of wall paint primer to paint over my easel because it was just super ugly and it was really frustrating me. So I sanded down the leftover whiteboard that wouldn't come off. I did a few coats of primer and it looks really cool um, and I can't wait to show you. So someone was throwing out this really pretty dark table so I cleared out another corner that um, I guess was dedicated to chairs of various kinds. You know, the necessities of a Gen Z student and assembled the desk. It was a bit crusted and dusted, but I cleaned it off. So, you know, um, I found this poor plant that was missing all the leaves. So I've been nurturing it back to health and it actually has a lot of leaves now. Well, maybe not that many, but more than I had before. Also, I added another plant and a scary cat to protect me while I paint and a candle. Um, my daddy used to build glass. So I have a little vase he made. I added some dead flowers cause I was too lazy to throw them away, which helped me out eventually, I guess and also another plant. All of this changed when the Fire Nation attacked pretty much throughout the entire week. So I'm going to have to give you a full tour of the place tomorrow morning. Um, I'm really sorry, it's 11 p.m. when I'm recording this the night before it goes up. So you'll have to subscribe to see it tomorrow. I'll link it in the description when it's up. It's going to be a full studio tour. And get ready, you are not ready for it. <laughs> 